Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today's lesson comes to us from Esther chapter 6 verse 1 through verse 3. We see a big surprise for a sleepless king. The king was unable to sleep. So Xerxes ordered that the historical record be read. From it, he was reminded of how Mordecai had once saved his life. And we'll see that in chapter 2, verse 19 through verse 23. He also learned to his dismay that Mordecai had never been rewarded for his bravery. When God wants to work things out in our lives, he will cause us to have insomnia. And if we'll only use the opportunity to talk to him, to meditate upon him on his and on his words and pray we will see great results instead of doing anything else but turning to God Esther chapter 6 verse 1 through verse 3 it says on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king and it was found written that Mordecai had a tool of Bignama and Tirish two of the king's chamberlains the keepers of the door who sought to lay an and on King Xerxes and the king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servant that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. So, King Xerxes has been unwittingly deceived into signing an edict paperwork for destruction of the Jews. Subsequently, the king could not sleep because of a restless spirit. Eman was the culprit here and he was sleeping. But God kept the king awake in trying to make the best use of his insomnia the king had the chronicles of his reign brought to him and it was read to him now this is by divine providence what he heard that was read to him he discovered covered an error that was ultimate an error that ultimately led to the deliverance of the Jewish people this account as we read it in the scripture contains the account of an attempt on his life which had been Foiled by Mordecai. So upon inquiry, he says, Now that I have learned this, what has been done to reward this man for his service? And he found out that nothing was done. Uh, verse 19 of Esther chapter 2 
it says, and when the virgins were gathered together the second time, then Mordecai sat in the king's gate. Esther had not yet showed her kindred nor her people as Mordecai had charged her. For Esther did the commandment of Mordecai like as when she was brought up with him. So now it says, in those days, while Mordecai sat in the king's gate, two of the king's chamberlain wanted to do him evil, those that kept the door. They were wrought and sought to lay hands on King Xerxes. And the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther the queen. And Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. And when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out, therefore, they were brought, hanged on a tree, and it was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. So what happened in chapter 2, we see that these men wanted to kill the king. Mordecai heard about it, told it to his cousin, his niece, sometimes we call her, or even his daughter, about the plot to kill the king. The men who tried to kill the king was hanged. It was written in the books, but the king didn't even know anything about it. That his life was speared all because of what Mordecai did. Amon didn't like the Jewish people. And so he went to the king and have this law passed. And a day was coming when he was going to try to wipe them out. But it so happened that the king became restless one night. He couldn't put his finger on what it is that was the problem. Don't be agitated. Don't be surprised. Our heavenly father is actively seeking our attention. And so when things happen like it did to the king, remember he is seeking your attention. So stop, ask the father, what is it that he is saying to us? And when he says it, let us obey him. Let us do what he says. So the king, he became restless. He couldn't sleep. He sent for the books and he see what really happened. Mordecai saved his life. And so God had it all planned, all set up, that this would bring deliverance to his people, the Jewish people, whom Amon, this wicked servant to the king, wanted to kill God's people. Someone rightly said, this is a wonderful interweaving of circumstances which set in this history of what happened. There is a plot and an underplot as we can see from our story. Wheels within wheels circumstances hanging upon circumstances but all formed together to work out God's wonderful plan and purpose caused from one sleepless night of the king so let us remember to treat our sleeplessness with prayer, with thanksgiving, with reading of the word, with inquiring of God why this is happening and he will plainly show it to us and when he does 
let us take care of matters as he expect us to do we see the king doing the same and the life of God's people was spared and Mordecai was rewarded for the service that he rendered by foiling the plot of the men trying to kill the king. God bless you. Please subscribe. It is free. Like, share, comment, and continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.